Hi guys, my name is Andre A.K. Mark Renton and I got it up and running thanks to a user called Arcologies. He really helped me out and gave me the final hint what was missing on my S2800 Archive sampler. So just to recap what I was doing, in my last video I was pimping my S2800 sampler by uh, upgrading the EEPROM from operating system version 1.5 to 2.0 because I had some, here and there I had some glitches while operating it or using it. Uh, that worked out pretty well, but the second thing was I wanted to upgrade the old school floppy drive to a uh, GoTek floppy emulator so that you can just put in a USB uh, flash drive and uh, just use the hardware like you would use it in the 21st century. That did not work out and I made some research on the internet and just could not find out what the real root cause was. So it was not the jumper configuration. So seems like the original GoTek uh, floppy emulator software is not capable of handling the Akai sampler for whatever reason. I don't care. I found a solution. Now I'm using Flash Floppy. You, I also could use is HX software but it worked out with flash floppy and I'm really happy for that. The whole soldering part worked out pretty well. This was no issue and also the flashing this whole thing worked out pretty well. Another thing I had to keep in mind was I don't have one of the old school Gotik floppy emulators but I have a newer one with a, an Atari MCU on it. So it's slightly different compared to other Gotex. So I flashed it and then I integrated it into my S2800 sampler afterwards again. And another thing, a final thing I had to do was I was uh, formatting again the USB thumb drive uh, with FAT32 on a Windows computer and from there I was putting Acology's configuration uh, on this device that he prepared for me, so thanks for this again. And with a batch file I was creating 2000 empty images that they also put on this flash drive and now I have here uh, 2000 um, empty floppy drives in my Akai sampler. Long story short, let me show you how it looks like right now. And then you see here operating system version 2.0, loading sample in your sample is just a test I have here and then you see it already. <laughs> I mean the speed is the same like the floppy drive, right? Because the device does not know that something has changed and all this internal bus system and so on, it's the same processing. But I don't really care about the speed, it works. That's what counts. So now it's loading the sample and then I can straight go here to the sample and play it. And I could go then here to the other floppies, right? You get the idea and from there it's like I would if it's like if I would put in now another disk and can straight load from there. So really, really cool. So thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed my journey, how I was upgrading my Akai sampler. I, I, I just can really encourage everybody who has such a device to upgrade it and bring it to the 21st century. I uh, hope you liked my video and give me a like if you like it and talk to you soon. Bye.